Still a few laps to go. Look at that one on the bottom. <laughs> we're, we're on uh, lap 19 of 78, so they want to be a bit careful. And that's the thing about having that very accurate system down there where it was once a judge of fact, no reflection on anybody that would, would have been doing great volunteer work down there, but now it's sudden death. They're, they're, you're either nailed or you're not. Uh, hey, Scafie, I can hear Neil already getting really excited about that little line down there. The you just strap him to his chair, mate, because when the first bloke gets pinged, mate, oh, hell's going to break Luke, uh, loose up in the box. I totally agree, <laughs> and he thinks it's funny. He's, he's laughing because it's lap 19 of 78. Has he noticed the razors on? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Jason Barguana now three strikes, so he's got no more lives. So uh, yeah. it, it's like watching the stock market jump up and down. <laughs> now, Wind Cup has gone fast again to the second sector of 49.4 on this lap. He's got a 2.3 second margin and he's just marching away right at the moment. It's interesting watching this overhead shot of Steve Owen pulling away from Todd Kelly because coming out of turn seven there it looked as though Kelly was close enough to run him down but obviously Steve Owen's got some good straight line pace check that out for Wink Cup. I mean that's beautiful work well, when we you say see that time level and time of... again and that's what he does when you go back at the end of the weekend and say how did he skip so far ahead? Well, he often puts back to back to back fastest laps together. This time, Fabian Coulthard goes, I'm not buying into that, Russell. 